Well, drinking buddies, we have arrived. I finally captured my ultimate unicorn, William LaRue Weller. But how will it compare to another unicorn? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So I wanted to compare this to another unicorn, and I thought, what do I have that's another like top 10, top five whiskey I've ever tasted? And that's pretty short list. Um, I thought about things like Old Rip 10, but it's like 20 proof points less. I thought about Russell's 13, which don't get me wrong, I'm straight up in love with my Russell's 13, but I don't think it compares to this at all. And I had one sample that I thought, that's the one. That's the one that's going to do it. So I went with Michter's 20. It's from 2019, and it's 114.2 proof. So let's find out head to head which unicorn is better. Hopefully it's this one, because I bought it and I was already offered a lot of money for it, but I opened it instead because I want to drink it. Ah, oh, it's just got such a dark color to it. It's so, so dark, so dark. Like darker than the 20 year. Eh, pretty similar in color, really. But. Okay, so immediately cherries on the nose. Oak, brown sugar, bourbon vanilla. It's pretty, pretty, pretty normal nose. But I do want to keep going back to it because it's really nice. There's also like a little subtle raisin thing in here. Love the nose. Let's go in. Oh. Cherry and apricot, it's really fruit forward. Got a great burn on the tip of my tongue. Finish that's still going on. Oak on the finish. And, and like peaches, like uh, stone fruit on the finish. I get why people pay so much money for that. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good that is. Well, I can honestly say that is the, uh, the best whiskey I own. Let's see if it can compare it to a sample of another unicorn. Oh, much more oak on the nose here. Yeah, oak and cinnamon. Dank, like damp basement. Leather shoes. Old books. Wow. Wow. You know, if it wasn't for like the fact that this is like so much oak, it's close. Like I would say it's almost as good as the WLW, but I feel like there's too much oak notes taking over. Not in a bad way, just not to compare to this. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like heavy oak notes, you might not even like this one, but I'm a fan of the oak. Just it's, you know, Maybe not too much here, just just not as good as this. Because this one's got all those fruit flavors, it's got the sweetness, whereas this is more like spicy oak and cinnamon and, and you know, like a lot of wood flavors. Beats it on viscosity and mouthfeel for sure. So, man, it might beat it on finish too. Nose and palate win here. The like, mouth feel and finish, I think, win here. But I'm going to lean towards the WLW, not because I own it <laughs> and I want to like it more, but because it's just got more of those really pleasant, um, sweet, fruity things going on that this one might have had if it was 12 years old. This is about 12 years old. This one might have had if it was about 12 years old. But, you know, at this point, the oak notes have kind of taken over those. Yeah, that is just that is just fantastic.
A lot of people say that Pappy 15 is the king of bourbons and we learned in a blind that this is better. Uh, at least that's how we felt about it. Um, between my good friend Marco and my good friend Brooks, we all three picked the WLW above the Pappy 15. If I was giving these a score of like zero to a hundred, I would go like 99 and I'd go, I'd go a perfect hundred because it's the best whiskey I've ever tasted. It's, it, it is, it's every WLW. Well, I mean, that's not true. I am going to go 99 because I'm not sure that this is better than the 2019 version that we were tasting in that video. So, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to send me a sample of any of the other WLWs to compare, I'm going to go 99 for that reason. And I would probably say this is like a 96 because Boy, is it fantastic, but also that price point is insane, so. Well, drinking buddies, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that like button if you have time before you leave. And uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tasted either of these. If you haven't, that's fine. Um, you know, I mean, this is one that I know very few people have tasted. There are so few bottles of this and it's extraordinarily expensive. I was just lucky to have a wonderful fan send me this sample. Um, Thanks for watching, Drinking Buddies. We'll see you on the next one.